What's up Transportum? This is Ben here and today we're going to take a look at the Rose and Toys RT01 Robot Rose. And this is the Rose and Toys Transformers Masterpiece MP51 RCKO. So this is the box from the front, one side, other side. What the heck is that? Top, bottom and back. Okay, so let's open her up. Go, that's the box. We got the Autobot Insignia, Instruction Manual, the Upgrade Kits, and the toy itself. It seems like she got the same kind of accessories as the MP51RC. Here you go. Alright, so let's take out the main event. Whoa! Oh, not bad. Feels pretty darn good. Bit of mist alignment over, over already yeah there's a bit of misalignment here right if you compare that to the other side so right out of the gate there's a little bit of misalignment maybe it's not a big deal after uh, transformation the back end doesn't seem to be tabbed in properly but we shall see oh it's already some paint chipping there you go it's, it's kind of even out now there you go, the rear section is kind of even out now. Alright, so um, let's get down to the review. So here's Rose in the alt mode and this is about the only accessory that's pretty useful in the alt mode. And the trip accessory fits in very nicely. We also have these two chest upgrade kits. So here's Rose with the original chest piece. And what's pretty remarkable about this chest piece is that it's just pegged in. So all you gotta do is just pull it out and voila, you can just swap out the chest piece. Although I would recommend that you swap it out in the bot mode. Here's Rose with the chest upgrade kit. So you can see it, it looks and fits pretty decently Although the bottom here doesn't seem to peg in where it's supposed to Due to the hindrance on the collar section here And here's Rose with the contour chest upgrade kit And you can see it will not fit under the hood so here's Rose and RC side by side, so not really a lot that you can tell the difference between the two other than that one has the official insignia and the other doesn't. Weight uh, feels about the same, but I, I kind of feel like maybe the official is a tad heavier. I, I don't know. No, I can't confirm that unless I put this on the scale. Maybe I'll do that. The finishing, there seems to be a thicker coat of of paint on rose compared to the authentic the paint finishing seems a lot smoother on rose this one seems to be a bit stickier both tab in okay i think the authentic of course tabs in a lot better uh, there's a bit of a gap here on rose compared to the other side right there's a huge gap you can see that the front on the ko is a little loose there on the authentic it's okay it, it's not as loose you can see that for ground clearance i i feel like there's friction being rubbed on here and i have never transformed the ko yet so i already feel there's a bit of a friction and it doesn't roll as well uh, on the authentic yeah you can hear it's you can actually hear the wheels turn on some of them. I don't think all the wheels will turn, but you can definitely hear a bit more rolling action compared to rolls, as you can hear that, I hope. So yeah, so that's rolls compared to the official RC. So here's Rose laid out with all her accessories. Let's go through them. First, we've got this little pink pistol. I think there's no paint on them. I think it's just molded in pink plastic. You will also hold the pink pistol very nicely. We also have this little pink holster, which will fit the little pink pistol quite nicely. And we can fit the pink holster on the side of Rose. And here we've got the first blast effect. The blast effect will fit quite nicely on this pistol. So there you go, looks quite nice. We also have this very 
long blast effect and it will fit on the pink pistol very nicely we also have this long rifle she will also hold the long rifle very nicely the small blast effect will fit onto the long rifle quite nicely a so will the long blast effect next we have this gray pistol rose will hold the gray pistol very nicely and we also have this little bursting blast effect and the bursting blast effect will fit onto the gray pistol very nicely rose also comes with four extra face plates these are the face plates one extra face plate compared to the authentic here we have rose with her lips closed and open ever so slightly even more this looks like a pocket kind of lip size of the eyes also differ from these four face plates and here's rose with the original face here's rose with the first alternate face here's rose with her second alternate face and again with her third alternate face and her fourth final alternate face and of course we got the option for rose to use her red visor and of course you guys know there are two additional chest plates for rose so here's rose with her original chest plate so here's rose with the contour chest piece so you can see that's how it looks from the side so here's rose with the anime accurate chest plate i think it's quite easy to just to dislodge the original chest piece pull out this part and pull it out let's put in the first chest piece The chest is primarily tabbed in by these little pegs on the side. You can see there's a little bit of a gap here. It won't fit into the slots as intended. You can just pull up the head, put in the other chest plate, lock it in, secure it in, and you can pull the head back. So here's Rose and RC side by side and I've got to say that the color matching on the of the color matching of the pink is done remarkably well. I mean I, I can't really see a difference. Of course, these are the chess upgrade kits that I have installed. This is from Rose, this is from Hafizul, and but if you look at the pink on the backpack there, on the knees, they look remarkably the same. There's a difference in the, I guess, the intensity of the white. The authentic RC looks a little brighter than Rose. The grey bits here on Rose seems to have a layer of clear coat finish. So it just reflects a little more. The molded pink on the hands and the palms and the neck is definitely different. Rose has a, I think, a hue of purple compared to the authentic RC. And what I've noticed is that the hips area for Rose seems like they forgot to paint it compared to the more homogeneous paint job done on the authentic. I also weighed out the two RCs. Rose is 106 grams and RC is 110. So RC is just four grams heavier. So what do you Think. which one do you think looks better all right let's do some joint comps so here's the neck articulation for rose and for RC both feel about the same and here are the shoulder joints for rows elbow joints hands they all feel pretty good and here is RC it feels a little softer not as rough but still pretty tight compared to the R's authentic RC. Hafizul really did a good job in considering the range of motion for the butterfly joints. So there you go. It's much better on RC. The waist articulation is there. Very nice and tight. Yeah. Feels about the same. A bit looser on RC but still it will hold its position pretty, ni pretty nicely. Let's look at the hip joints. A little bit of a ratchet action. And it will kick in, kick out. Yeah, a bit of the same kind of motion. It will kick in. It will kick out. Knee swivel feels about the same. Ankle rocking, well, not bad. Wow, the toe pivot here is really tight. So that's great. Mismatched paint here. Whoa, the ankle rocker on RC is really tight, but has a looser toe fit. 
So what do I think about rows? Let's talk about three pros. First, the paint job we're applying is remarkable. Two, I like there's an additional face plate. Three, I like that there's a very easy to assemble chest plate. The one thing that would have been better would be that the shoulder area here for the upgraded chest piece will allow for more, number one, range of motion, and two, it will peg into this little slot more easily. But other than that, it's a pretty good toy. So would I recommend this over the authentic MP51? I say yes, if you are not getting the Hafizu upgrade but if you already have the Hafizu upgrade then you already have your premium MP51 RC if you are deciding on which of the options to get I say Rose is a better option due to its price point but if you're very particular about how the white on the thighs here look or how purple the palms and neck look then maybe this is still a good option Option when you have the Hafizu upgrade kit. So that is it for my review this time around. What are your thoughts? Please leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons and also smash the sub and bell icons for more future vids. Again, this is Ben signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.